And so I, I want to, I don't know. I just, I think a lot of the times I have moments where I'm like, man, I'm thinking way too hard into this. I should just like, I should just do it and not think like, man, I before, cause we rebranded our logo. I, I did the first one myself and it was fine. But after about a year and a half, I was so tired of looking at it. I was like, this is just terrible. So I had somebody else do it. And, uh, before I rebranded, I was like, I don't know if we should do this. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I change my logo, like, will people know or, and some, I, I asked the graphic designer that I was working with. I was like, do you have any tips on how to like rebrand? She was like, just do it. Yeah. Just change it all. Yeah. Cause like in a, in a humble sense, like not as many people are looking at you as you expect. Sure. But also we were still brand new. It was, it was like if Starbucks were to do it, like it wasn't going to be on that scale. Right. I was talking myself up and I do that with a lot is like, well, getting in your own head, it's, it's a big deal in business yeah, and all that too. And it's a big deal. I just want to do things in excellence. Right. I, the older I get, the more, the more drawn to people I am who have a really high passion about something. Mm -hmm. Like if you can sit and talk my ears off for 15 minutes, like I'm doing with you, mm -hmm. then I want to be around you mm -hmm. because I, I enjoy being around passionate people who do things in excellence. Mm -hmm. um, but it's that energy. That yeah, energy it, is addictive. It draws it's, you in for yeah. sure. It's magnetic. Mm -hmm. um, and that was what we wanted to do is, is, is offer something that was, that you could tell when you walk in, like, okay, this wasn't an afterthought. Like everything here is thought out. This is the, planned. Yeah. To the mm -hmm. point of the shipping boxes that I, I bought for single, ba single bags of coffee. I thought, I thought through it and was like, man, if someone's buying a single bag off my website and I'm shipping them a bag, it's probably because they don't, they've never had it before. And so I want the experience to be exciting. You know mm -hmm. how when you get a shipment and it's like an Amazon package, you just cut into it and it's whatever. But you order it from like a specialty shop. And they'll throw in a note, they'll throw in some stickers, they'll right. throw in, you know, something, the packaging is cool and it makes sense. Back, way back when Apple first started, um, or uh, not Apple, when they released the iPhone. So let's fast forward a little bit. Okay. Um, what was, what year was that? First iPhone was, it had to be. 2006? Yeah. I was about to say six or seven, maybe eight. I'm going to Google it. You can still talk about it. I want, <laughs> yeah. I want, yeah. I want to know that date. Uh, so someone told me. And this was after they decided to go to what the design is now for the boxes for the iPhones. They designed it so as you're pulling the top of the box off, it only will come off so fast. Because as you're pulling uh, it off, it's building tension uh, of like, I'm so excited for that. Like, no one's really thinking that, but like, it really, I think it is like an inherent thought that you have is like, I really, like, this is taking a little, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wish this would open quicker. And yeah. Then it's yeah. Like, but yeah. I mean, I I'm that. super excited. I got a brand yeah. new phone. Like it's going to be, you know, no cracks, you know, nothing in it. Right. And so that's, I, I think that way with, with Volt is like, how can I provide that experience where I would say 98% of the people would never even think about it, but the 2% that have the possibility of being lifelong, lifelong customers because of certain aspects like that. Like, I don't think I'll ever buy another phone than, than an iPhone. Sure. I, I'm bought into what they have, yeah. their experience, their user interface, the, how smooth things run. Like I understand like every phone has its benefits, but like I bought into what Apple's selling mm -hmm. and I want that for Volt as much as possible. So the shipping boxes, the, the look that we have, the, you know, the, the small things I think add up to big buy-in from people. Um, and so that's, it's just, I don't know. It's what gets me excited. I mean, it's really the Amazon way. They were obsessed with the customer experience, yeah. you know? Yeah. And absolutely. I think if, if that is the focus yeah, and that is a major focus, you're really going to succeed. Yeah. I, I, it's just special. It's like, if you can be a part of somebody's life that, you know, that you've, especially that you've never met, I ship coffee everywhere in the States. And every time I get a new order from a new state is like, oh, this is awesome. Like, I can't wait for this to get there. Like, I really hope, you know, I, I write a, a note underneath the box lid and, you know, I, I it's just a process. But yeah. sometimes I think to myself, like, I'm, I'm going way far on something that maybe they'll never even notice. Yeah. Um, but well, some I, people may not, but I, I think it really makes an impact to others. Yeah. I think they see that yeah. like that this person cares about their product. Sure. It's a big deal. Sure. It's a big deal. Uh, June, let's see, 2007. Okay. First iPhone released June 29th, 2007. Wow. What a day. 
Yeah, that was what a, a day. That was a day. I will say I am a recovering uh Android user. Okay. <laughs> had my first iPhone in twenty twenty one. Okay. And still have it. Still yeah. have the same one. Uh iPhone thirteen Pro Max. Never going back, man. Oh. Never going and back. There are like I said, there are benefits, but I just don't know. I don't know. I can't think of one that that can't top the accessibility. Yeah, and I, I had a uh, Galaxy Note. Sure. So I like that. The stylus that came with yeah, it, that yeah. was really cool. I could just take it out and make a note. But iPhone, man, it's just the ease of use. Face ID, yeah. uh, like everything is just smoother. Right. It's just a better experience. Crisp. Yeah. It's like Android, yeah, it can do all these things. Right. Super but customizable. But there's nothing like the Christmas of an iPhone. Yeah. Like, just, it just can't be replicated. I don't know how I feel about the new customizability coming in iOS 18. Mm. See, I you mean, can really change nothing. like the color scheme of apps. You can change it to like black backgrounds with, with red logos and all that kind of stuff. And mm. that's, it's great. And I think people really wanted it. I just, sometimes I'm very simplistic, like make a logo that looks good and I'll just, I'll be on board. Yeah. Some brands like, um, What's the burrito place? Uh, I can't. I'm drawing a blank. I've worked all day. I'm tired now. Uh, burrito, burrito bowl place. Uh, Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always the same. Yeah. Everybody knows what they're getting. It's gonna be the same. Yeah. It's kind of like Android versus iPhone to right. me. Like other companies versus Chipotle. Like Chipotle's simple. It's basic. Definitely. We know what we're gonna get, but everybody's crazy about it yeah, because yeah. of that quality. Because you know what you're gonna get. And I feel like iPhone is comparable in that I've way. I've never like, compared them before, but I think that's a, honestly, I think it's a perfect comparison. Yeah, because yeah, you know what you're going to get, but that that excellence yeah. is there. It's always there. Yeah, right. Sometimes the scoops. Well, Some of the workers get a little yeah human uh, error. I want human, human error, error. error for <laughs> but, sure. I'm not going to blame yeah. all of Chipotle on this one. Right, right. You but know, that consi- yeah, that uh, but that consistency is there, and that's what keeps people coming back. That's yeah. for sure. Thank you for watching the podcast, The Better Man with Dr. Jared Nelson. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.